Hey, how's it going? On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create an animated 3D logo in Cinema 4D using vectors from Adobe Illustrator. Um, right now what you're seeing is a logo that was sent to me from a client. Um, I think I might as well go ahead right now and just show you kind of the intro animation that I made with it, and then we'll dive into how it was made. Alright, so now that we're back, um, I'm going to give you some of the critical information that you're going to need to be able to know uh, in order to animate a logo. Um, what you're going to need to be able to do is get your image into some sort of format where you can select the paths for different elements from the logo. So you can see I can select all these different elements, and that's because the designer of the logo sent me the EPS file. Um, but a lot of times you're not going to have that. Probably, probably going to be working with PNG files, which are transparent background files, um, but that's okay. I'll show you real quick how you can uh, bring those mas mask paths out. Um, so if you click on your logo um, and click right up here, I'm going to click on color 6, and this will maintain some of the, the coloration in the logo. If it's a one color logo, you just click on one color logo. Um, but then after you have chose color 6, which is your mask path, uh, you're going to click on object, expand, Click OK. And now you're going to notice you can select individual elements. And this is what we're going to need uh, when we go and save and bring it over to Cinema 4D. So when we're saving uh, to get to Cinema 4D, there's kind of a particular way that you need to save. So I'm going to go File Save As, um, whatever you want to save it. Leave it like this. Um, I'm going to choose Adobe Illustrator AI file. And then when we get to this next stage, uh, Cinema 4D can't understand CS4, CS3, CS2 file formats from Illustrator, so you're going to have to choose a Illustrator 8, um, which is kind of one of those things um, that you kind of got to know. So uh, I've already saved this, but I'll save it again. And click OK. So now we're going to go over to Cinema 4D and start animating this logo. Okay, so now that we're in Cinema 4D, we're going to go ahead and open up the file that we just created in Illustrator. It's an AI file. Yep, click OK. And you can see the 2D version of the vectors that we created in uh, Adobe Illustrator. If we down click over here, uh, we can see the different paths. Zoom in a little bit. That could be all animated independently. Um, kind of for the sake of time, uh, what I did with the last logo is I extruded each one of these differently um, because I wanted you know the the M and the I to kind of be extruded outwardly instead of being cut out. Um, but I'll show you a quick way to kind of extrude an entire logo, and you can use this same process uh, for each of the individual elements when you're doing it you know by yourself. Uh, first off, I'm going to delete this path because I don't need that. I'm going to select all of the paths. And I'm going to go right click and click connect and delete so that we just have one giant path for when we extrude. I'm going to click up here, click on extrude NURBS. I'm going to hold option alt if you're on a Mac. And that instantly makes our Adobe Illustrator file into a 3D logo. So I wasn't planning on talking about camera keyframing, but I think that's kind of important if you're doing any kind of 3D logo or intro. So um, I have already added a camera. If you click right up here, camera, uh, and then you're going to want to click on cameras, scene camera, and then make sure that camera's selected. What this does, if it's not selected, is you don't get to see what the camera's seeing, so you want to definitely make sure that that's selected. So what you're seeing in this view is what the camera, the motion of the camera is going to see. Uh, and down here, we're going to set keyframes uh, for how fast we want the motion. So make sure camera is selected. And let's say I want to start from out here. Set a keyframe here, and then I'm going to move in really close to the logo. Maybe. Set it so it's centered up a little bit, maybe you know, orbited around this way. 
and I'm going to set the other keyframe for that. Oop, lost myself again. Right there. So then when I click forward, you can see this is kind of what the camera is going to see, and when you render the animation out, um, it's going to look something like that. So do a quick render. Um, right now, uh, I'm not going to go over uh, compositing materials and um, doing the fog and the floor or the, uh, any sort of the environment stuff. I'll probably save that for another video just because I'm being a little bit lazy. But uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, this is Casey Baker. Thanks for watching. Yeah.